So in this example problem, we are going to be calculating the pH of a buffer using something called the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So in our previous example, we calculate pH of a buffer solution using our normal typical rice chart. Um, but we're going to learn a new equation that is going to make your lives much easier when trying to calculate the pH of a buffer. Now, the only caveat to this is the fact that this Henderson-Hasselbalch equation can only be used to calculate the pH of a buffer, not a strong acid or strong base or weak acid or weak base, only buffers. So our problem on slide 16 of our chapter 18 PowerPoint states, calculate the pH of a buffer solution that is 0.05 molar in benzoic acid and 0.15 molar in sodium benzoate. And then it goes on to give us the Ka of our benzoic acid. So before I start this problem, I'm going to write down my Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which basically states that pH is equal to pKa plus log of our base over our acid. Now another form of this that might be more relevant to this equation, we can say for our base that it's our A minus, so our conjugate base, and for our acid we can use generic HA. So in this problem our Acidic species is going to be our benzoic acid, makes sense, it's an acid. And our A- minus or base is going to be our sodium benzoate. And in solution, it's really just the benzoate ion that we're concerned with because sodium becomes a spectator ion. So you might be wondering, what is pKa? When we talked about it briefly in chapter 17, and remember, you can get the pKa of something. The pKa of something is basically the same type of calculation we do for pH where pK is equal to the negative log of our Ka. And they just so happen to give us a Ka in this problem. So we are given a concentration of our base or A minus species concentration of our acid or HA species and we know the Ka so that's all we need to calculate pH so I'm going to go ahead and plug all of my numbers into my equation so pH is going to be equal to negative log of my Ka aka my pKa which provided in the problem is 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5 plus log of my base concentration which is sodium benzoate so 0 0.150 over the concentration of my acid which is 0 0.050 so if you're following along with your calculators I get that negative log of my Ka is 4.187 and the log of my base over my acid concentration is 0 0.477. So if we add those together, you should get that your pH equals 4.66. So you can see that the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation cuts down on a lot of work for calculating the pH of a buffer. So as long as you have a buffer solution, you technically don't have to go through the whole rice chart that we did um, for our example on slide 11. You can use the Henderson-Hasselbalch and it'll cut down on a lot of work. So our answer for this, pH of this particular buffer solution, 4.66.